and I am now going to move the call forward with our featured speaker. She's been waiting patiently for this backstage, back in the virtual green room. She is, you know what, just a couple days ago was her seventh year coach anniversary coach anniversary, coach anniversary. She's a six star diamond coach. She has, she's also been an elite coach. She's been a premier coach twice. And with success club, she has achieved success club 78 months in a row from Orlando, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Stephanie Burgos. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 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 Were you able to make your breakfast while we were doing all of our pre-call stuff? <laughs> I was sitting here patiently waiting. <laughs> you were patiently waiting. I'm very excited for you because it is a better together week and your topic is really about community. So before we get into the bulk of it, I'd like to let everybody know what brought you to Beachbody. What is your uh, coach story, your starting story? Yes, absolutely. So I actually, first of all, I'm so excited to be here. This has been on my vision board for quite some time, probably since when I first got started. So I started back in 2013 and I was actually right before I signed up as a coach, I was living probably the busiest part of my life. I was a medical resident at Harvard. I was working 70, 80 hours a week. I was overweight. I had low self-esteem. I had no self-confidence. I was always tired. And I was someone that I typically was always very active. I lived in Boston and I used to walk, you know, four or five miles a day. And I was someone that was very active. However, because of how hectic and how chaotic my schedule was, my eating wasn't always the best. And I realized that, you know what, I needed to make a decision. I needed to stop letting time be my limitation. And I decided that I needed to do something different when it came to my health. So I actually got a hold of Insanity and had an opportunity to try that. And like I said, I was someone I was always working out. And when I started doing Insanity, I was like, whoa, those of you who have done Insanity, you guys know that program is so hard. And I remember thinking, wow, I am really out of shape. And I just remember watching, I, I stuck with it. My husband did it with me as well. We both stuck with it. And I remember at the end, I would hear about this thing called coaching and about Coach Summit and about Shakeology. And I remember thinking, you know what? I want to, I want to try this. If I'm going to do this the right way, I'm going to go all in. I want to do Shakeology. I want to do the meal plan. And it just so happened that Sean T., had just come out with T25 at that time. And I said, you know what? I kind of put it out to the universe. I was like, yes, I want to do T25. Now, I did not know anyone who was a beach body coach in any format. So I just started posting on social media. I started following a couple people on social media who were sharing their journey. And I remember thinking, wow, this is really cool that they get to not only get in shape, but they're also sharing their journey and they're inspiring one person you know, every single day, probably more people. And I remember at that same time, I was also, you know, again, I was, I was entering into the third year of my medical residency. I was feeling burnt out. And I remember thinking, what is my passion? And I know that might sound crazy to you because a lot of people will say, well, well, you're a doctor. But I will tell you that when I graduated medical school, I was kind of like, well, what's next for me? And I went into residency with that mindset of what's next for me. And I didn't know what was next for me. I wanted to fall in love with something and pursue something that I absolutely loved. And not that medicine is not that, it's a wonderful career, but it wasn't what lit me up, right? It wasn't truly my passion. I wanted to love something just as much as my husband, who's a dancer, how much he loved dance. And so taking all that into account, I had this girl who randomly approached me and she, I posted like one photo. So for those of you who are afraid of reaching out to people, let me be that example of just reaching out to a perfect stranger who you have no idea who she is because she literally reached out to me and she said, hey, would you like to be a coach? And I said, what is a coach? And she told me a little bit about it. She also told me that I would get a 25% discount. And I said, you know what? sign me up because I, I already said I wanted to do this. I was looking for an affordable way, which for me, that was awesome because I had a ton of loans. You know, I was a medical resident. I was living in a very expensive city and I signed up. Now, let me just say, I did not think I was going to build a business. I just really wanted something that was flexible. I wanted a solution 
that would fit my crazy lifestyle, right? And I remember just telling myself, 25 minutes, I can do 25 minutes. Anyone can do 25 minutes, right? We convinced ourselves in 25 minutes not to work out. And so I came into this business with that mindset. But I will say that that evening when I signed up, I remember I was sitting on my couch in a 900 square foot apartment, guys, just me by myself and something lit up inside of me. Like I just all of a sudden became so excited about the potential. And I just remember thinking, what if I can share my story on social media? And mind you, I never used to post on social media, never. So I was like, what if I could post on social media? And what if I can inspire one person who's busy, just like me, to take back their health, right? You know, I work in the ER, I'm an emergency medicine doctor. I am always taking care of all the diseases. I wanted to have a role where I was preventing disease. And that's what this opportunity was presenting at that time. And I just remember saying, you know what? In that evening, guys, I signed up earlier. And by that evening, I was like, I'm going all in. I'm going all in with this. I am going to share my journey because even if I can inspire just one person, it's going to be worth it to me, right? And that's the mindset I've had every single day for the past seven years of showing up on social media, never missing a day in seven years is the fact that there's one person, right? There's one person who can who will be inspired by, by my story and by me showing up every single day. And so that from there on end, I went from never posting on social media to posting three times a day back then, I don't post that much anymore, but posting three times a day consistently and that's how it started. And I remember calling my mom, she signed up with me. I signed up my husband right away. And I said, you know what? We're gonna do this together as a family. And it has been such an incredible ride. It has been such an incredible blessing, this business. And I'll share more about that later. But yeah, that's how I got started. I love hearing from medical professionals who want to be on the other side of medicine, helping people before they get to the emergency room. Yeah. So I, I love, love, love your story. And I love that you're married. You married a guy who's a dancer. So it's yeah. a doctor and a dancer. <laughs> um, so you came in wanting the discount, right? So you came in just like as a hobby and thing like, so when did the scales tip? When did you think that you could do more with this and start building a community? I know this is your topic, so why don't you just go into it? Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, that evening, I, I really became inspired that evening. And I started, sharing, I started showing up on social media and sharing my journey from the very beginning. And even though the community was not there, I had faith and trust that with hard work and with persistence, it will happen. And I think that's one of the best things that I'm so grateful for when it comes to my medical career, that idea of delayed gratification, right? That idea that you need to put in the work in the beginning before you see the results. However, you have to have faith that the results are going to come. And I had faith that my community, that that tribe was going to be out there. And so I started sharing on social media and little by little people started joining my community. They started wanting to know what was I doing, even though I was so busy, how was I still making time, you know, for my workouts? How was I still making time, you know, for me? And so I started building, I started growing. And I actually, I would, pre I would pretty much say when I started, I, I hit the floor running. I was very, you know, I think maybe take, it was like my competitiveness. I, it was the overachiever in me. I was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to do this well. And I remember, you know, for me, I felt like I had really fast success in the beginning, but because I was showing up every day, I, in a way, became, you know, infatuated a little bit with Beachbody. I, you know, in a way was just like very excited about that. And I let that excitement push me, even on the days when I was tired, even on the days when I had 14 hour days at work, I was still allowing that excitement to push me. And so, and that's what I tell people all the time is that when that excitement is there, follow that excitement, because that means that that's what you're supposed to be doing. So little by little people started joining. And I would say over the first two or three years, I was building a team. I started immediately doing team calls with just two or three people on our team. And I still remember those team calls with those two or three people. I don't even want to get emotional. I'll probably get emotional later. But it was just incredible, guys, how it started with just me on the couch and just by simply sharing with authenticity and sharing with excitement how people started to come and want to join me. And so I, you know, 
I pursued that. I was someone that I was very driven initially by rank. I was very driven by, you know, I was like, the company says I need to hit success club. This is what I'm going to do. This is our objective measure. And I was very driven by that. And so I pushed, I pushed with my team together. We created that community and we pushed. And over the first few years by two, so I started in 2013 and by 2015, we had become an elite team. And it was incredible, guys. It was an incredible kind of like rise. And it was because of, you know, building that community. And it was because of just really, you know, being there for each other. However, and this is where kind of like in business, and this is what I've learned in business, right? Like I said, this has been a wild ride. And those of you who have been in this business long enough know that it's a wild ride. And there's ups and downs to every single business. And the reason why I want to share this part is because if you are where I was back then, I hope that this is going to be inspiring for you. So after that peak to 2015 of becoming an elite coach, immediately right after the whole team collapsed. And every, like I had about 50% of my team that, that left and it was incredibly hard. And I think some of you, you know, you may, you may understand this, you may be going through it right now. And I will tell you that that was a huge hit for me. It was incredibly, incredibly challenging. However, I believe that in all challenges, there's always something to be learned. There's always something that I needed, you know, that I knew that there was something I needed to learn from this. And I won't lie. And again, if you're in this, just know, take it from me. I would say for the, for the year to year and a half after that, my heart was not fully in Beachbody. It was because I was so hurt. It was because I didn't understand what happened. It was because I was chasing things that I shouldn't have been chasing. And it did, just because my heart wasn't in it didn't mean that I wasn't showing up to my business. Don't, I don't want to, you know, make the two, they're not, they're, they're separate. Just because my heart wasn't in it, I was still showing up. I was still doing my workouts. I was still connecting with my team that I still had. I was still doing team calls. I was still posting on social media, but my heart wasn't in it. And I think some of you guys know when you're on fire and your heart is in it and you're excited. And then other times when you're not and you're working really hard. And I remember at that time, it was really important for me to double down on personal development. That's one of the things I love about this business, guys, is that this business will change your life because of the personal development and because of the community that it brings into your life. And so I, I, I doubled down on my personal development and I realized that what I was missing was the community aspect of it. I realized that I was chasing points and I was chasing rank and not that it's not important because I wanna make it very clear, it is important, especially those of us because we're building businesses. However, I believe that when you help people feel like they're a part of a community, when you help people feel like they're loved, like they're supported, like they're heard, they're going to stay within your community. And that then organically, your business is going to grow. And organically, you're going to hit the ranks and you're going to have the success. And that was the shift for me that happened for, you know, especially towards the end of 2017. And again, remember 2015, so all of 2016, I was like lost, my energy was low. I was just like, do I wanna to continue to do this? But I always had faith, right? I always had faith that, you know what? My excitement was there for a reason. There's one person out there who needs to hear my story today. And I always led with that. And so at the end of 2017, I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop trying to pull people who are not there and I'm going to reach down into my downline. This was a key point for me, guys. This was a key shift in the business. I reached down into my downline and I looked to see who was building, who was excited, even if I wasn't, even if they weren't personally sponsored by me. And I was like, you know what? These are the women that I need to link arms with. And I remember reaching out to people. I remember looking, you know, in the back office, seeing who was still building, seeing who was still excited. And I got on calls with them. I got on one-on-one -on -one calls with them. And I asked them, you know, what are your goals? Do you want to link arms together? And they were so excited. And they were like, yes. And I knew that that's what I, I know, I, that's what I needed. I want to be around excited people that are excited about this business, that want to grow a team, that want to grow a community. And so in that beginning part, I said, you know what? We're going to shift. We're going to work together as a team. No more isolation. We're going to come together as a team. We're going to start doing team calls together. We're going to start doing all of our team trainings together. So these are things that we did differently. We also, I also started doing one-on-one -on -one calls, you know, with people in the downline who were showing up for the work, right? They were actually putting in the work and they were hitting their goals. And so I wanted to make sure that they felt 
connected, that they, they knew I was there for them as a coach, as a mentor, as a friend. And that was an additional thing, guys. I genuinely wanted to get to know my team. I wanted to get to know about them, about them and their family and what they're doing you know, in their life and their struggles. And I wanted them to know that we are here as a community. And I kept reinforcing that. I kept reinforcing the fact that, you know what, you're not alone. Come into the community, lean on us. And that reinforcement, which it has to be reinforced, really helped to build that trust. I will also say that another thing specifically that I did different when is, is on my, on my new, on my coach welcome call. So on my new coach call, when I would have a coach, uh, a call with someone, I would let them know right off the bat that there was no expectations from me when it came to the business. And I did this because what I had learned and what I've learned from mentoring, you know, hundreds of coaches is a lot of times when a new coach comes on, they're afraid they're going to disappoint their upline coach. And so I wanted to take that pressure off of them. I wanted them to understand and know that, hey, at the end of the day, my hope is that you come into this business and you use the products, that you have an amazing transformation with the products and that you create friendships in this community. That is my hope. That's all my hope is. Whether you build this business or not is not going to stop me from getting to know you. It's not gonna stop us from welcoming you and allowing you to be a part of our community and our team. And I think that was and so important because more people have stayed on. The retention has been higher because again, they understood and they felt my heart, right? They felt that I really genuinely wanted them to come in and feel that sense of community, that I wanted them to come in and be a part of something that was not just about business, but was about you know, creating a common mission of helping ourselves become healthier, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and then being the example for our community and our team and our families. And so that was kind of the mindset that I had. And I remember it started to work, it started to pay off because organically we started building. And I still remember the first time I hit premiere right after I hit elite, I didn't even know I was gonna hit premiere just because I wasn't, I wasn't focused on that. And I remember talking to one of my best friends who happens to be on another team, right guys? Because it doesn't matter where people are. It's like, we're all in this together. And I remember talking to you know one of my best friends and she was like, you're about to be premiere. And I said, what? Like, I didn't even, I was not focused on that, but it was happening organically because I was focused on helping people have results, on helping people feel like they're a part of a team, a community, and just making sure that I was maintaining my own personal self-care, making sure that I'm maintaining my own personal development and showing up in the highest vibration, the highest you know, way that I could. So then I'd say we, we, we pursued on, we hit premiere twice and, and it's been amazing. And also the duplication has been there. We now have girls in our downline now, you know, that are in the downline that are, that they're now hitting, you know, two star, three star, five star. This year, we're going to have three elite coaches in our downline, which is amazing, right? Because it's all about duplication. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're the one having all the success. It doesn't matter if you can't duplicate that, if you can't help other people have that same, help, help other people have that same success. What I'll also add on is that right before, right before everything happened with the pandemic, I remember this was another shift. I remember, again, I had, you know, we had built up to Premier as a team, as a community. And I will even say that my, that my heart was in it. I was excited, but I didn't go all in. And I think some of you guys understand what it is when you go all in, when you make that decision that there is no more try. It's, I am going to do this, right? All of you who are saying, I'll try to do this. I'll try to hit a lead. I'll try to hit success club. There is no try. You're either going to do it or you're not. And I remember I was in that limbo for a long time. And again, that was because I was so afraid to push again, you know, from when I pushed last time and I was so afraid to push for those big goals. But right around when, right before the pandemic hit, I remember just saying, I'm gonna go all in. What do I have to lose? What in the world do I have to lose? I have a team, the team is here. I have girls that are pushing, they're running, they're running ahead of me. I want to run with them. And I made a decision and that's key guys. Just like I made a decision when I first got started, when I first decided I needed to stop letting my time be an excuse for my own personal wellness. And that's when things shifted. 
I made a decision right before the pandemic hit that we were going to go all in. I was going to go all in again with my team, with my community, and I was going to encourage everyone in the community to go all in. And so at that time, we made additional changes in terms of adding more touch points. And I call them touch points because again, now with the, with the ability for us to connect virtually, these are all opportunities for us to have touch points where we're connecting with each other and we're seeing each other. So not only did we, we continue the team calls, but now we added the daily, you know, a daily workout. So every morning in the morning, we have a Zoom and we're doing daily workouts. So this is something that has proved to be amazing for our team. We also are doing coffee chats. And so coffee chats every week, once a week, that is strictly just to get to know each other. That's strictly just, you know, share any wins, share how you're doing. Again, building community, allowing people to really get to know each other. Because what I've under, what I learned is that if you can help people feel like they belong, if you can help people feel like they have a family here, they're not going to leave. They're not going to leave. They will be at the, you know, they will be customers for life. They will be lifers. And so we started doing coffee chats. We also started doing what I call office hours, which are like just group Q and A's um, once a week as well. And that was more so just to make sure that everyone knew where they could come together to, to ask questions and all questions were welcomed, right? There are no stupid questions. We wanted everyone to know that all of their questions were welcomed. So we started doing that every week. We also, um, I would say another additional th thing, we started doing the new coach calls once a month. And we also started doing push to Emerald calls once a month. So these are all opportunities for people to come together, right? And then also on Saturday, so during the week, we had the morning workouts. And then on Saturday, we started doing a free workout open to our full community on Saturday mornings. And that also has been amazing for building community as well as allowing coaches to bring other new prospects into our team so that they can feel our community. One last thing I'll say, is that our one rule that I made new during the, especially right now with everything going on, is whenever you're on Zoom, whenever we come on Zoom, I, I have asked my team that they show themselves on video. And this is important, guys, because at the end of the day, when it comes to communication, when it comes to relationship building, and I shared this, I explained to them why it was important for me, for the speakers, for us as leaders, to be able to see each other, right? This was how we are connecting right now. We can't meet in person as we used to. So we need you to come on and have your video on. You know, don't just have black screens, you know, on here. Let us see you. And it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, let us see you. And I let them know, you know, at the end of the day, communication is only 7% words, guys. It's only 7% words is communication. So that means 93% is all nonverbal. 93 is our body language, our smile, our tone, like 93%. And so I said, if we're going to continue to work on communicating more and being there for each other, we need to make sure that we can see each other. So that was an additional thing that we did. And it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful for the community. It's been wonderful for the team. The team is doing amazing. We've had more success over the past several weeks than we have had, you know, over the last several years. I am so, so impressed. I love that because I've been talking to people on Zoom and I'm not seeing their face and they know I'm not happy with it. Um, before I let you go to the closing of the call, I know that we talked about what are you going to do for Summit Week, but I was just thinking of a funny old doctor joke. I'm sure you've heard this a million times that you go into the doctor's office and say, I don't feel good. And the doctor says, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Now, I feel like you're going to be the kind of doctor that says, read two, develop two personal oh development God, books. Yes and call me after you read them. Absolutely. I will say that is exactly <laughs> what I do in the ER sometimes when people come in and I feel like they need personal development. I will literally pull out my phone and I tell them Perfect. about Audible. I tell them about personal. I'm like, you do not need another medication. Perfect. Personal development. <laughs> Perfect. Well, your excitement just precedes you. I'm so grateful um, for what you talked about. Now, we're a little short on time, but I do want to say, how are you tackling this week with your team? What yeah, are three absolutely. things that you're going to do? Absolutely. So every day we're doing, we're going to continue the live workouts, you know, together as a team in the morning. We're also doing a Friday night pajama party. So that's going to be fun. We're doing pajama, you know, pajamas, red lips, and bring your own drink. 
party and that's where we're going to debrief and really kind of go over any takeaways from the week thus far and then Saturday we're doing a celebration night on zoom as well prior to the beach body celebration and we're all going to come together in our themed color, um, the, the outfit that we're going to be wearing to take a picture and to have a dance party. So those are three things that we'll be doing this week. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, pajamas are fun, but also dressing up is fun too. So um, let's just take it to the closing of the call. And that is seven years as a coach. Happy coach anniversary. Yeah. What does it all mean? How rewarding, how fulfilling has this journey been for you? My goodness, like this has been the biggest blessing to not only my life, but my family's life. Like, guys, I need you to understand, like when you're in the ER, you don't have a lot of time. You only have 15 minutes maybe to talk with people, to really help with prevention, to really help impact them. And I, my soul, I was, I was craving the opportunity to be able to mentor other people, to be able to inspire them, to be able to motivate them. And that is what this business has brought into my life. It has brought into my life, such an amazing community, so many new friends, you know, someone that was in my wedding recently, you know, she's someone that I met through Beachbody and there's just so much potential for connection. And I can't speak enough to the personal development. Who I was seven years ago, the, the woman with low self-esteem who didn't believe in herself, who didn't value her self-worth, who was out of shape, I am in no way that same person anymore. And it is because of this business. It's because of the personal development. You know, when I, when I am always talking to people about this opportunity, I always say very confidently that if you give us one year of your life, if you give us one year of just doing the vital behaviors, you know, really making it a habit and really becoming the vital behaviors, it's going to change your life. And I could stand behind that very confidently because at the end of the day, if you can help someone change their mindset, which this business through the personal development, through going, you know, through the readings, through, go through going to events, you know, Beachbody and non-Beachbody, I have been able to change my mindset. And when you can help someone change their mindset, you're going to change their life. You're going to change their reality. And it's just been such an amazing, amazing ride. I mean, now to the point where I no longer have to work clinically if I don't want to, right? And to me, that was always part of the big vision. It was always part of the big vision to have more time freedom, to have more financial flexibility, to be able to travel the world and do you know, what I want to do. And now because of this business, I don't have to go into the ER if I don't want to. It's not something that I need to do every single month. And it's opening up more space for me to pursue other things that I am even more passionate about, right? Because we're always growing, we're always expanding. And so I'm just so incredibly grateful, you know, for, for saying yes. And, you know, not only saying yes back in 2013, but really believing in myself enough to go all in. And really believing in myself never to give up, even when it was hard, even on the days, guys, when I cried my eyes out, even on the days when I was like, is this, you know, is this even worth it? I never gave up. And it has now afforded us a lifestyle and a freedom that I don't think medicine could have given me. And for that, I'm just so incredibly grateful. What a great message today. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure working with you and I'm so happy for your success and your beautiful smile and you're always glowing. You're just positive. And I love you said something earlier that you just run with excitement. Yes. And, and you know what, when, when you experience that collapse in 2015, you realize that it's not just a goal and you get there and then it just collapses. Right. It's a no. consistent, consistent excitement, consistent motivation, consistent momentum. Yes. And um, I'm really, really happy that you shared that. It was a really good message for many newer coaches too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Stephanie Burgos, everybody. Thanks, everybody. And you know what? Let me just get a um, an affirmation that I pulled out. You know, we all want to change the world. And we know the saying that it starts with us, right? But today, it's no more as is. Go ahead and change the world. Make it happen. No more as is today. This is a huge, huge week. Get involved, get engaged, motivate your team as well. And we will see you here next week. Bye-bye.